recent past, we've shared with you all PhD details related to IIT Bombay, IIT Madras and the very latest IIT Delhi. In this video, I, Dr. Ritika Gaba, your one and only PhD mentor, advisor and trainer is going to share with you the details of yet another prestigious Indian Institute of Technology, which is IIT Kanpur. Before we dig deeper into IIT Kanpur's PhD program, let us first understand a little about its history. You know, when and how was IIT Kanpur formed? So IIT Kanpur was established in the year 1959. And the speciality of its creation was the fact that it was created by a consortium of nine American universities under the Kanpur Indo-American Pact. Not only this, IIT Kanpur was also one of the or actually the first institute to introduce the Department of Computer Science in India. Currently, IIT Kanpur as per the last data updated on the IIT Kanpur website has close to 6,500 students studying across various undergraduate postgraduate programs. These 6,500 students are taught by close to 413 faculties. Today, in this video, we are going to discuss all about the PhD program of this prestigious institute. You know, what are the subjects in which IIT offers a PhD? What is its eligibility criteria? Do you require an eligibility exam? Does it offer a post part-time PhD or a full-time PhD? And so on and so forth. So now that we have some good understanding about the history or the background of this prestigious institute, let us move on to understand some facts related to the research program of IIT Kanpur. Let us start with the number of research scholars they have. So as per the statistics last updated by IIT Kanpur, they have close to 1500 research scholars. These 1500 research scholars are guided by the 413 faculties. And each of these faculties have a research funding of about 1.9 million. Okay, from here we move on to the most important question. In which subjects does IIT Kanpur offer you a PhD? So yes, being an IIT, IIT Kanpur also offers you a PhD in all domains related to engineering. Besides this, you can also pursue a PhD in science, in cognitive science, in humanities and social sciences, management and design. Some of the subjects which are covered under humanities are literature, linguistics, fine arts and so on. Some other subjects which are covered under cognitive sciences and social sciences include sociology, anthropology, psychology, maths, physics, chemistry, statistics, biosciences and so on. In brief, any and every subject which is relevant in today's time is offered by some or the other department of IIT Kanpur. Remember each of these departments they might look like they are just five or six of them but within each department there are multiple sub departments and within each subject there are multiple research areas. From here we move on to discuss what are the eligibility requirements to pursue a PhD from IIT Kanpur or what qualifications do you require? So IIT Kanpur would let you pursue a PhD from the institute if you have a master's degree or if you have a four-year graduation degree. However, when we compare the requirements to the other IITs, you would find that IIT Kanpur is a bit more strict or has more stringent norms. While other IITs require you to have a first division to pursue a PhD, IIT Kanpur in majorly in all the departments insists on the students having at least 65% marks. So you need 65% marks if you have a master's degree and 
if you have a four year graduation degree, then they want you to have at least 75% marks. Yes, of course, relaxations are given in the humanities department and also to students of the reserved category. From here, let us move on to the third section where we are going to discuss whether IIT offers a full-time PhD or a part-time PhD. So, IIT offers both a full-time and a part-time PhD. If you want to pursue a full-time PhD, then you will either have to qualify some eligibility examination which gives you a fellowship like the UGC NET GRF or CSIR GRF etc. Otherwise, you can also apply and you might be selected for an institutional fellowship in which case IIT would be giving you a fellowship to pursue a full-time PhD. In case of IIT Kanpur, there is a third option as well where you can pursue a full-time PhD without any kind of fellowship. As far as the working professionals are concerned, for them IIT has the option of pursuing a part-time PhD. So the working professional while working can simultaneously pursue a PhD from this prestigious institution. From here we move on to discussing the eligibility examination requirement. So if you are a working professional looking to pursue a part-time PhD, if you are a student who doesn't want a fellowship or if you are a student who has had great academic achievements so far, then in all these cases there is a high probability that you would be exempted from a requirement of an eligibility exam. If however you are looking for a fellowship, then you would be required to qualify some kind of eligibility examination. Which eligibility exam to qualify depends completely in the subject area of which you are applying. Also, since the requirement of having or not having an eligibility exam and which eligibility exam you should appear for completely depends on the domain and the subject you are applying to, I would request you to please have a close look before taking any decision in this regard. From here, we move on to the discussing what is the admission process of IIT Kanpur. So IIT Kanpur opens its admission usually twice a year. Once in October, November for their January session and once in March, April for the July session. And yes, for the July 2023 sessions, the admission are currently open. The last date to apply into this prestigious institute for the July 2023 session is 11th of April 2023 for the full-time students and for the people who are trying to apply for the part-time PhD program of this institute, the last date is in May 2023. So we come to the end of this video. In case you have some research ideas and you want to discuss the feasibility of those research topics with someone, in case you want to understand which are the other IITs and IMs which you can apply to, you want to understand the process of PhD. You want to understand what are the career options post PhD. You want to understand how to prepare a research proposal or you want someone to simply check your research proposal. You want guidance about how to write a SOP or any other details related to PhD. Then you can get in touch with me. As I have already said, I am your one and only PhD mentor, advisor and trainer, Dr. Ritika Gaba. Thank you.